Inferno, released in 2016 this year. It's the third in the Da Vinci Code series and is based on the novel of the same name by Dan Brown. The basic premise of this film is that Robert Langdon, played by Tom Hanks, wakes up in a hospital in Florence with no idea how he got there. In what is quite typical of this series, he soon finds himself being hunted by what you think is a terrorist group and he has to solve puzzles. On this occasion, the puzzles are related to Dante's Inferno. Whilst doing this, he is also suffering from amnesia. He is assisted by a doctor named Sienna Brooks. This is a very well-made film, very good looking, editing and cinematography very well done. You can really tell it's a Ron Howard movie. Tom, Hank Tom Hanks is okay in the role. Uh, nothing really outstanding about his performance, but Hanks can pretty much just wing it these days. Uh, that's not a knock on the guy. I think he's a great actor. Uh, I'm just saying that uh, that acting is job, and if that job requires him to walk around looking handsome and confused in a two-hour film, then so be it. We all have to make a living. <laughs> uh, other than that, I do have quite a few criticisms of this movie. Uh, the flashback scenes are very overdone. Without spoiling too much, there is a particularly long flashback just after a major plot twist um, in this film, and... Uh, I felt it was unnecessary. They could have easily just trimmed it down to trimmed a good five minutes off of it. This is how long this flash, this particular flashback is. I know five minutes isn't a long time, but we're talking flashbacks just to explain why a character is doing what they're doing. So you get the idea. Uh, the film is a little too fast paced for my liking. There wasn't one moment in the film where something wasn't happening. I do see that as a criticism because in the book there were there were quiet moments where we just got to got a little inkling of character development. Uh, however, the movie version doesn't take the time to let us really care about these characters that much. Um, it's an entertaining film and it's worth checking out if you have a few hours spare time. Other than that, I'm going to give this film a six out of ten. Guys, I hope you're enjoying the video. I want to make a lot more of these. Hope to see you again soon. Take care. Bye.